Hi y'all, this is Regina. Welcome back to Regina's Crafting and More. Um, I showed my neighbor the band-aid, the ouch band-aid that I used to cover up Charles's rip in his shorts. And she said, oh my gosh, how cute. She, she told me she had a pair of her granddaughter's pants that she needed to patch and asked me if I could fix a patch to, to go over it. And I said, well, how big is it? And she said, oh, it's about like this. And I said, okay. So I looked at it. We measured it. I needed something about a little bigger than three and a half. Okay. So I've got a three and three quarters or 3.8 something patch that I made for her and I designed that I made for her, her granddaughter's pants. And y'all are going to get it. And, um, so let, let me get started. So what I'm going to do, let me turn this around. I've already started, and then I said, oh gosh, I should be recording this. All right, so what I've done is I put in some water-soluble stabilizer. I didn't want anything heavy. I didn't want to have tearaway in it. Um, I was going to use a piece of um, faux leather stuff, but I couldn't find any of the right color that I had because I don't use faux leather a lot. And I didn't want to use vinyl. I don't have any glittery vinyl or anything like that. So I'm using felt to be kind of the base. So color stop number one will do a stitch, a placement stitch. Okay. And I put this felt on top of it. Now I want to use the same material I use for Charles. I could just stitch the embroidery design. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just stitch the embroidery design. Okay, so I put this down. Then color stop number two tacked it down. Now color stop number three is the actual embroidery design. And I'm going to let it stitch. Okay, we're going to do a stitch. Um, it ought to be okay. So it'll stitch the top part, and then it'll stitch the bottom part, then it'll stitch the sides. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> I can't even remember. It'll stitch the sides, then it'll go to the top, and then it'll go to the bottom. So this is going to just stitch the whole design. On the ouch band-aid that I did, I didn't let it stitch the embroidery design. I skipped this part of it, and I just went straight to the centerpiece of the band-aid. But I'm gonna let this one just stitch, okay? And I've got a piece of felt here that is, you know, it'll it'll work good for for her. kids outgrow their clothes so quick, you know, and she'll just, I'll either put some adhesive on the back, or she'll just be able to stitch it to the pants, and this one is going to have multicolored dots on it, instead of white dots like the Ouch Band-Aid, uh, it's going to have multicolored um, dots on it, so I'll be back when this is finished stitching. So. I'm not a patch person. I really don't know how to make patches. I've been watching some videos on it, uh, and it looks fairly easy. And there's so many different ways that you can do it, so many different types of media that you can use to make the patches. So this is going to be my first patch, other than Charles's Band-Aid, that I actually did on top of the rip that was in his pants. I'll be back. Alright, I just thought I'd give you a quick peek and see where we are. It's getting ready to stitch the last part of the actual band-aid. And then the next color will stitch the center and it'll be a little darker. Alright, so I thought I'd give you another quick peek. Um, we're just about finished with the band-aid outside part of the rectangle band-aid. Alright, so I finished the 
band-aid part, the, band, the large band-aid part. And now I'm going to do the dots. Um, I'm going to use these colors to do the dots. So I'm going to start with purple. All right, so I've got my uh, purple. So there's seven dots at the top and the bottom, and five on the sides. Does jump around so that there aren't any jump stitches that you have to trim. I'm going to let this color stitch so you can see how the process that it goes through. So now it's going to do three dots on the bottom, here, here, and here. I'll be back. All right, just showing you where we are so far. And there's only five on the sides. Five dots. finished with the dots. Okay, let's see, let me turn this light around. Maybe that shine a little light on things. All right, so there's the band-aid. And I'm going to, I have a, a, a color stop in here to let you put some um, fabric or whatever you want to do on the back. If you want to, I don't think you'd want to put your adhesive material on here right now. But anyhow, um, I'm going to trim these tails. Let me do that real quick. All right, so I'm just going to put this fabric over the back um, and let this let go from the other direction. Hello. Let's see here. We're going to do this. All right, and I'm going to let this color stop tack that fabric in place. Maybe I need to pull it down just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to let this tack it in place. And I'm going to change color threads here. And I'm going to put in my, um, my brown that I'm going to use for the satin stitch. Alright, so I'm just going to stitch this let it go it goes all the way around it just tacks that fabric down and I'm going to trim as much away as I can on this Start with the back, and I'm just 
just going to hold my fabric up and trim right up against that stitch line. If you hold your fabric straight up, it allows you to get closer to your stitch line. So that's gone. And I don't think I was holding it. Let me see if I can get any closer on this. I think that, nah. Okay, so let me trim this away. I don't like going to the left, I mean, from that side. So let me just trim for this side. tough on this edge because I didn't leave myself enough material to hang on to. Shame on me. Okay. Let me see if I can get this any closer. So color stop number, color stop number 10 is going to stitch a satin stitch around the edges and hopefully it will cover what has been left around the edges and we won't have to do any more trimming. This is just kind of an extra little uh, give me, if you will, you know, so you have an idea. Yeah. Uh, I think it may cover. slipped. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is just the zigzag. This isn't the satin stitch. Satin stitch is a little bit wider. So this looks like it'll be okay. stitch this fill design out right here. You can skip it using fabric, you know, like this that looks like a band-aid, or whatever you choose you want to do. enough. Alright. So color stop 11 is going to stitch the satin stitch all the way around. I'm going to use the same exact color. I've got one little piece here, but I think it will be okay because the satin stitch is wider.
Hopefully you can see that satin stitch. That's going to look really nice. All right, so there is our rectangle, or rather square. Um, let's see, we can't see that. There we go. Band aid with little colored dots instead of white dots. I need to trim some tails on this side. Now, this is water soluble stabilizer, so I'm going to cut it out. Use a Q-tip to go around the edge and get rid of uh, any that's left. And then you would need to adhere your adhesive, double-sided adhesive, on the back in order to um, iron it on. Or you can just use invisible thread and sew it onto your whatever you're going to put it on. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I've got some straight scissors and I'm just trimming as close as I can around this edge without cutting the satin stitches. Get, just get as close as you can. And what doesn't come off, you can use the Q-tip in hot water to get it off. This has plenty of body. It's not too stiff, but I think I would have liked it better with the fabric and not the stitching. Okay, so there's, you can see just little bits of that water-soluble stabilizer. All right, so I've gone around with the hot water and gotten rid of the water soluble stabilizer that was left and there's my finished patch okay can be ironed on I, I haven't put any adhesive on the back because I don't know if she wants to just sew it or try to iron it on um, I'll have to ask her but that's what it looks like as an embroidery design. That's all a fill design. And I use this fabric on my other one. And uh, so that's just uh, two different kinds. All right. I hope you enjoy. Post some pics on the groups. I mean, on the, on the group, singular, my group. Um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures. Thanks.